Hi, I'm Rabiki. I'm a guest here. I'm MC Rad's girlfriend. Um, if you follow him or if you haven't followed him yet, you can find him under EMC double E R A D. Um, I am getting into magic and I'm pretty excited about it. Me too. I, <laughs> so I am opening a few um, booster packs. Um, these are some of my first. So just be aware of that. Um, so I don't know everything that I'm doing, obviously, because I'm still new. So hopefully you won't judge too harshly. Um, these ones are War of the Spark. They're the first boosters that I have of War of the Spark. So I'm pretty excited about that. And so let's see what I've got. Um, first card I've got here is Crush Descent. Uh, let's see, this one's an in instant. Um, and then we've got Chain Whip Cyclops. He looks pretty cool. I like the pictures. I'm a little bit of a girly girl that way. Can't help it sometimes. Let's see. I know I'm not gonna say this pronoun pronounce this correctly. Teos or Teos Light Shield. An illusion. When Teos Light Shield enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Hmm. I am a little bit biased when it comes to colors at the moment. Um, right now I've been leaning more at white. I don't know exactly why, except that unicorns are definitely involved. <laughs> so, this one's forced landing, also an instant. <sighs> I like that one. Can take away flying. That will definitely be a plus. Let's see, a vampire opportunist. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. That one's definitely going to be fun too. Let's see. And yes, I'm just spreading them all out because I like to look at them. Unlikely aid. Another instant. Target creature gets plus two and gains indestructible until end of turn. Hmm. Let's see. Wanderer's Strike. Sorcery, exile, target creature, then proliferate. Precise, clean cuts. No one saw anything. Again, tag the report with my code and file it. Lavinia. I always like the flavor text. It's kind of fun for me to read. This one's Heartfire. Another instant. I do have a red deck currently. It's one of the new Core 2020. I've been enjoying that at the moment. Yeah, this is my my new Core 2020. Let's see. I like it. Um, MC Rad's sister gave this to me and I am pretty excited to start being a part of the magic group here at our house. I'm hoping that I can get enough really cool cards to actually beat my son. So, yeah. This one's a... Woof, woof, triple cat! <laughs> <laughs> Mana Geode. When Mana Geode enters the battlefield, you get to scry one. Add one mana of any color after tapping. Debris Shadow Figure. Hmm. Target player discards two cards and loses two life. And that would be nice. Ah, my first Dynaroar. <laughs> Hot Heels, is that how it's pronounced? Hot Lils Raptor? I know you have this one. No. Let's see. Either way, it's still a Dynaroar. I like this one. It's a non color. I like these. I have been collecting as many as I can get of the non-color ones just because I think they're really cool looking. 
emergency zone. Hollow the Sun's Heart. It's a legendary planeswalker. Um, each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And it's minus three is you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. I haven't seen that one before, but again, I'm pretty new. So. And then I've got the Blast Zone. Another one of the non-colored lands. I like these. Blast Zone enters the battlefield. The charge counter on it. I like that one. And a pretty swamp. This one's prettier than some of the other ones that I've got so far. And a token creature spirit. Hmm. I like that too. I'm going to add in here that I don't even have that Watali. Is that how it's pronounced? I think it's Watali or Hot. Hot. Hot Watali. Um, I'd say Watali. I have another one. Watali? I have no idea how to pronounce it. I am not very good at that. So I do my best, but yeah. That's cool. I'm pretty excited about that one. That will be pretty cool. Your son doesn't have it either. Ooh. More things that he doesn't have. That's pretty awesome, I think. <laughs> I'm a little <clears throat> particular with my colors. So, yes. Okay. Now for the next one, let's see what goodies are in this one. Nope, nope, not bending anything. There we go. Oh well, right off the bat, let's go. Another Crush Descent. Same one from the other pack. This one's new. Invading Manicore. A zombie mana core. When invading mana core enters the battlefield, the mass two, put two plus one plus one counters on an army you control. I'm still learning about the amassing things. That should be fun for me to get used to. Fall back. You are not no match for this. Gideon's sacrifice. Instant, choose a creature or planeswalker you control. All damage that would be dealt this turn to you and permanence you control is dealt to the chosen permanent instead. If it's still on the battlefield. Ah, Naga Eternal. A zombie Naga. It's a pretty cool picture. Again, I like the pictures. I recognize that headdress. This one was feared even by her fellow initiates. And a Shriek Diver? Shriek Diver? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Zombie Bird Warrior has flying and it gains haste until end of turn if you pay one. Snare Spinner. A spider. Those are pretty fun. I enjoy the spiders. Ooh, whenever it blocks a creature with flying, snare spinner gets plus two until end of turn. Spell gorger weird. It's a creature weird. Okay. Is it red or blue? It's red. Okay. There's a red one and a blue one in one of spark. Yeah. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on your spell, Gorger Weird. How freaking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Freed from their respective labs, the two weirds formed a partnership feeding on the ar arcane energies of war. In fact, I think the other one's in the background of that picture. 
Yeah, it looks like it. Small, the blue yeah, it has and a little blue one the down blue at the one. bottom. In the blue one, you can see the red one. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Topple the statue. Instant tap target permanent. If it's an artifact, destroy it and draw a card. So that one is actually for the God Pharaoh statue. I'm almost certain of it. And the God Pharaoh nice. statue is, is, is an annoying card that people hate. I bet. Herald of the Dread Horde, a zombie warrior. When Herald of the Dread Horde dies, amass two. Amonet's dead flowed into a new world in service to their god pharaoh. In a gateway plaza, land gate, also colorless. Augur, is that was Augur of Bolus, a merfolk wizard. I only have one other merfolk that I've gotten so far, and it's a merfolk pirate. It's enjoyable as well. When Augur of Bolus enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an instant or sorcery, sorcery card from among them and put it into your hands. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Nice. Why do I have two blue piles? Yeah. Feeling a little better. Yep. Mm -hmm. I just did that. Rawls Outburst. An instant. This one's a red blue. Rawls Outburst deals three damage to any target. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. And yes, I still am learning the names of the different color combos. Hopefully no judgment. Bond of Revival, also a sorcery. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until your next turn. I like that one. Ajani the Gather, the Great Hearted, sorry. Great Hearted, I don't have this one yet. No, but you have another Ajani. I do have another Ajani. Her first pull that I pulled from M20, she got an Ajani. Mm-hmm, now I have two of them. So this one's... I don't, ha I don't have that one either. You've got two Planeswalkers for <laughs> decks that I chose for you. <laughs> and I, and, I, and you got two Planeswalkers that I've never received, and that's awesome. <laughs> this is kind of a, a little bit of an ongoing joke in our house, because um, my son has impeccable luck just... He was given like 12 planeswalkers at the War of the Spark pre release because some other yeah. dude didn't want them. They were duplicates and he would never use them in his commander deck. And he just <clears throat> gave them to him just because he was there and he's young and new and. Uh, so it was good. cool though. He has really good luck. He has pulled some really cool he cards. He called Nicol Bolas like day one pre release. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And so we were pretty excited for him. So this one gives creatures you control, have vigilance, the plus one you gain three life, minus two, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control, and a loyalty counter on each other planeswalker you control. That one's fun. That's super cool. And then I have a new mountain. This one's one I don't have yet. <laughs> I know, that sounds interesting, but I have a pile of them now, and I'm enjoying collecting the different kinds, the ones that look different and unique. This one's a awesome. servo, a token artifact creature. I don't even know what a servo is yet, so this should be amusing to find that out. But it sure looks interesting. It's like a little bug. Yeah. <laughs> little robotic bug with a really big eyeball yeah well I am still enjoying this um, I hope you guys have had fun watching um, don't laugh too hard <laughs> I'm sure you won't but um, either way I will be opening some more I'm pretty excited to be getting to do that as well so tune in again to MC Rad. 
and his channel. Um, and you know, if you enjoyed it, press that like button. Um, feel free to subscribe. We'll be back.